Welcome to the Open Goal FC podcast! How are we doing, boys? All right? I'm good, yeah. You were on holiday, Frankie, weren't you? I've been on holiday, yes. So did you go to Cyprus? Oh, yeah. It's not like you, isn't it? Like, usually you go to Caribbean. Go to Caribbean in December. Do you? Cyprus, uh, go to Cyprus, yeah. That was good. That was good. Who were you with the missus? Well, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> yes, I was. Oh, eh? I was just thinking about this. I've had three honeymoons there. That's great. <laughs> what one? Honestly. <laughs> yeah, it was good fun. So, what, you went to Cyprus. Did you go on a holiday, you said, though? No, I've been all other places. I've just been I've doing been. England a lot. I've been doing England. Where's yeah. Tam? Doing there a couple of times. Didn't see David Moyes. It was good fun. Brilliant. It's great to have him back, in it? Uh, he's I've missed him. I know everybody oh, keeps saying, where's Frankie, where's he been? I know. So, I know. we finally got him back. Got to, go with, got to go with some people pay you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so David, thank you. Where has been about the day then? It's not coming to the That's what I mean, I'm back. <laughs> three period, isn't it? Ah, it's three period. Is this, a, is this, a, your, is this his back to a trial? He's on a trial. I'm on trial, right? I want your trousers on before. Ken, thank you, man. I know what I was doing, Shocking for you, no turn up to the podcast. You had the shits, didn't you? I had the shits on Monday. I, I, uh, what were you eating Sunday night? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you missed another one? No, I've only been here a month and he's missed two no, already. No, I've not missed two. Uh, one with two thick and one with a shits. No, I haven't missed any in five years. And, but I had to work at Huffrey on Monday and I got a job to Airdrie and I thought, oh, that's a decent job to start with. Mm-hmm. Got to Airdrie and see five minutes away from the drop. And I thought, no, my fucking stomach went. I was like, it's the worst. Oh. I was in like a senior American pie and right. I thought, I'm not going to actually get these people dropped off. So I got them dropped off eventually. And then I fucking thought, right, I'm going straight to him back to coming all. So I thought, everybody coming all is not that far. Not far. <laughs> I'll get there. It's ten minutes. <laughs> I had to fucking pull over, didn't I? Oh. Took the shorts off. I couldn't be somewhere. Oh, what? Oh. Opened up the boot. Opened up the boot. <laughs> opened up the boot. He did it in the boot. Had a brilliant. fucking P-Mart no. bag. No. Sent me on a P-Mart bag. Oh. Had to. No. No, no, no. Well, but it's the children. Ah. What? It was diarrhea, was wasn't it? Da- ah, so was it running in the bag? That's why I had to get the P-Mart. No, it flew. The P-Mart had it. <laughs> what do you want to be an arse with? Did you take it back to Primark? I had, a, I had a, something that returned to Primark, so I used that <laughs> to... <laughs> hey, no shame, we've all done it. I I know, know, I'm cool with nature, right. so... Mm-hmm. Uh, find a, a bin somewhere in, in this country road nah. and just hide the pre mark bag and hopefully Brilliant. maybe it's go scurrying the dog walkers that'll be, nice, like that bin. that'll be nice for the guy that's they don't pick it up for a couple of weeks now do they so I was feeling the but the street people go I was so I thought I thought they'd drive in to hear <laughs> the podcast for an hour I was never going to last. Nah. No, you'd be running a bit. Aye. Nah. Well, I'm hey. running down my leg. Hey, 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 hey. Running down my leg and then that. So that was it. So no, I'm, I'm feeling a bit better now. Good fart now. Good fart. Good fart. <laughs> Brothers, you've played what, two games in three days, big man. 38 year old, how oh. you feeling? No bad to be fair. Are you? Mm. Uh, just my joints, I guess, yeah. Don't really get sore muscles. Just. Back in the old ankles. I still can't even walk properly after coming on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> that just, that just that just you knew what they were last night? I was like, my bed. Fatigued. <laughs> no, I ended up in fucking. I ended up fucking. I didn't end up going to Poland straight after the game. On Saturday? Right after the game, I. Poland? Aye. aye. Poland. And then Paris. Why? Why? Huh? In your dreams? No, no, I had to leave the game quickly and then get a. I so, just, where, what was the plan of action as in you were obviously had something planned? My well, family booked it for a surprise for me. Because of my first game back, they booked us to Paris. But we had to fly you... via Poland, to Paris. All right, all right. So you had to go to Poland first. But see, the worst thing, me and my ma were sharing Paris. Paris is a new race. No, Paris is a new race. Paris is a new race. So, so you had to go to Poland to Paris. Yeah, I had to go, had to go to train across. Three, three years, you had to go three years to Poland to get an hour flight back to Paris. Slains or slains or slains. And when you go to the hotel, the, it was, didn't know who you were. It was nice two singles for me and my ma. It was the most awkward. Was it just you and your mum? Aye. Oh, that's nice. Aye. <laughs> Cracking, so no. Aye. That was brilliant. That was it. But what a feeling that was coming on. After six. Ah. I mean, I've changed the number of this. Seen I've that. seen you coming on. It was 10 years ago, naturally. No, so this is what I'm thinking. I want to know what the referee was saying. And you, because it took ages to come on when he was talking to you. You took I know, ages to go saying, on. Hey, you know, got a bigger tab. Did you say that? Did you say that? Are you sure? He was, like, he was like a young young movie coming on. Oh, well, you know, it looks like genuinely like anybody who looks at the picture on Instagram or whatever it is, the picture of me playing is the exact same. See when Wesley Snyder went and played the, the friendly game I when he stopped playing. The exact same as that. Aye. Oh, you need to see it by the way. But what I'm saying is, I thought this. It was ten years. It was te- when I first said this, it started at 10 years, then it went down to 9, 8, 7, right. and it was 6. But what it was is I stopped playing full time at 10 years. Oh, After right. a year and a half, that yeah. puts you to 8 and a half. 8 and a half. Then I went to part time for a year. 
takes you to seven and a half and then brought to six. So, but that's what I'm saying. What I, it was a complete opposite feeling the other day at Broadwood was when I, at under Fergie was my last ever game mm-hmm. where the family left. My man sister, eh, sorry, my dad's sister I walked to the stadium 20 minutes in. They were embarrassed to be my behaviour or my performance to be. I was walking the pitch to the shape I was in. Obviously, right. they must have walked out again on Saturday. But, but, <laughs> but no, but all seriousness. Hey, you look great, you look better. Ah, brilliant. Yeah. But see, the, that's what I'm saying. Imagine being a young boy and your man that come to watching your dad and, that, and they leave after 20 minutes with your, your behaviour, your son on a pitch. Aye. And then complete roles reversed, six year on. Back good reception. Uh, it was good, wasn't it? It was uh, obviously sitting there on the commentary. The game was comfortable, the boys were playing well, and then obviously it was an opportunity for, like, it's one of them times when you get an opportunity to put a young kid on, or you put the 30 year old mm-hmm. <laughs> young kid. comeback king on, Aye. and he came on. And to be fair, it was, I said to him in the car, the way in, like, he got a passage of play on that left hand side where he kept the ball really well for like four or five touches and didn't move very far, but using your experience. And I was like, this is a guy that's got experience, and you can tell. So I think be like in time when you get yourself properly Aye. fit, it'll be a really good addition to the team. What well, I mean, agree, 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 Ways as well, even coming on. Right. I mean, because I was a wee bit, no, no, I wasn't nervous going on, but I was nervous about how I, my legs were going to be. Because recently, when I've trained it, see, when I first start 10, 20 minutes, my legs fucking blow up. Right. And then after that, it's fine. So I was a bit worried if they go out there or whatever. But the boys were all supportive, amazing. What a team. What a group of players. Anyway, right. we're going to go into the, the last week's been brilliant with the results, but nothing happens with foot. Who knows when's Kev, the greatest sponsor in the world. Yes. Yes. No, the Scottish Pick 10 League, there was a solo winner oh, last cool. week. Deportillo won five and a half grand to himself after he got a full house, 10 out of 10 correct. Wow, good boys. Unbelievable, isn't it? Deportillo. As always, this week. I know it's my as the first. <laughs> <laughs> and they all put it on, they play it on. <laughs> This week is the first week that Open Goal will be entering the Scottish Pick 10 League to yes. compete against the viewers. Fancy our chances, Frank? Yes, of course I do. So you'll be re- representing us. Your own this week is Derek's away in holiday, but is it? Um, I don't know, he's away. Bologna. He's away. Is he away? He's away. He's away. Is he away to see boy? The boy's a Jesper, the new one, eh? He's away. He's away. He's desperate to get a Jesper. I know, he's away. A Vesper? A Vesper, sorry. A Jesper? A Jesper? He'll be getting a Jesper. A Vesper? A Vesper? A Vesper? He's desperate to get it by heart. Oh, is he, Harry? Aye, he's desperate. Did you see his eyes, man? Say to him, he had something on the seat. Unbelievable. That means he's earlier in the draft. Is he calling him the new Frank? Nah, not interested in the guy. No, <laughs> right, no so. I miss him. I so, no, just, miss him. Are you confident? Drink? You can get ten out of ten. I will go for. It. I'll get. I've got help here, haven't I? Aye. So, have you ever since we've started, we've obviously done cooking you know, Have you ever go full house? Aye. Have you? Every Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> and the bit even. The biggest news of the week, September also sees the return of Slaney's leaderboard. Remember how exciting that was? I used to be able to shoot the tie up there. Unbelievable. <laughs> Still starting to the day. If you have the highest points total by the end of this month, you will win a signed Open Goal Broom Hill FC top. And I'll deliver it myself wow. to your house. Wow, yes, decent. Aye, and wow. we'll have a wee coffee with your, your man. Kept driving you. I'll drive you now, but I'm going to drop half. Are you, do, are you, are you, you drop his half? I'll win. You, you deliver the top to the boy. And I will see the mama. <laughs> 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 Same joke for four years. It's a shambles. We keep know. going. We don't stop. That is for sure. So we don't stop there. <laughs> so anyway, last week we were about doing the results. This week, as I said last week, the character of the boys were not far away. Mm. Brothers, we'll start with you. Two wins in the bounce. Uh, obviously, playing at home, you need to win your home games. But to be fair, the gaffer gave me the week off. My age told me not to bother because it was a cup game it was a chance to play some other boys yeah. so I missed that um, and you come into training but when I come into training on Tuesday the boys were upbeat the, yeah. they, they got on with it and then we bounced back on Saturday with a good win could have been maybe more goals to be honest um, but to win 5-1 is always mm. nice it's good. and then to take that into midweek and win 3-1 you, you'll take that any day of the week mm-hmm. but I think the way even the gaffer says He's got a set way of playing and we're going to play it no matter who we play. 
and he'll stick to it. And I think the boys are starting to believe in it now. Mm-hmm. Aye. Um, as you can see, the last two performances. And uh, if we can go into this weekend and get three in the bounce, I think they'll actually believe because... But we're only four points off the top. It's mm-hmm. I know and everybody. It's a good it's a game in hand. It's a good game, game in hand, and it's everybody's a good one. You support this week. It's a hard one. It's a hard one. Every game's hard. Be good for them. See, be fair, Frank. They are. They're all well mm-hmm. organised. Hard Aye. to break down, and Aye. they've got boys who have got decent ability. Aye. Maybe Aye. just know how to break um, and to get up through the league. Do you get many players coming down like you, like yourself? I would, you know, coming down. But the next thing I got a fair deal Saturday. They had the boy that was at Hibs, Danny Galbraith. Yeah. Was it Danny uh, Gobraith? Yeah. Daniel Gobraith. Yeah. <laughs> he played, he played Sorry, a number of games for Hibs and other teams. You had the boys Scobie. Yeah. Aye. Scobie. You had uh, Bob McHugh. Aye. Um, so there's a few players that have played I league football. I don't think now that I think maybe 10, 10 years ago or whatever it was, maybe the lone league or even lower league football was. I, I think it's serious now. Uh, though, I I boys take themselves probably than fitness is great. I think fitness I think players come down used to get decent money playing junior Aye. coming back junior and they used to get that kind of money, in, so. in the, I, back in obviously maybe your day Frank when you would play obviously we've got to talk about it later but you've played in the lower leagues mm-hmm. you would have a marquee player that yeah. got paid more than everybody else yeah. whereas now I think what you're seeing is because there's some maybe local businessmen whether it be at Darvel or whether yeah. it be at um, East Cobride East Cobride or whatever that are pumping money in seeing a project that maybe potentially could go up through the leagues uh-huh. so they're willing to invest a wee bit for maybe a bit because there will be a return because if you get Cushing. up into the next league I'm pretty sure yeah, you get aye. money for getting promoted Cushing. I'm pretty sure you'll get into Scottish Cups where you might get that big draw I know Wink that we have against yeah. Brawler sponsor you get through the Brawler you mm-hmm. get through the next game before you know you're getting you know you get that third round you might get a Premier League team so there's mm. a draw of, of that so now there's instead of paying that one player there's a collection of players now getting rewarded at that level so it's now an opportunity for boys that are thinking right okay I can drop down here train two nights a week part time and get a decent wage for doing it and sometimes as a name just sometimes the night leagues it's, it's just a love of football isn't it I mean, uh, of course you it play is. it because you love football that's, that's, that, that's, that's the bottom line or, I know look at the team last night I don't even need as you'll not be for money <laughs> <laughs> Look at the team last night. Look at the team last night. They'll beat Star. Look at their geographic location. Are we doing where they are sitting? Yes. And then you go. Are we doing? Uh, they're in between the Fleece and. Um, Stranraer, the Garden. Um, no, the Fleece and um, probably like Gatehouse of Fleet. Can I? I think they're running about mm. there. Could be miles wrong. Somebody will pull me up on it. Oh. But they're no typical to where the rest of the teams are. Yeah. So the fact that boys want to go and play for the Beatty Star and travel down to there and whatever because yeah. I think that'll be our longest journey, maybe. 70, 80 miles down to the beat from Glasgow so it's like it's, it's, a, it's a fair old jaunt and it shows you that people want to play and give themselves an opportunity yeah. but just to get back to your point it shows good character that we lose two in the bounce and then to bounce back and win yeah. two in the bounce it was a week, it was a week brothers that when we got beat two in the bounce that was the week I, I seen the boys and I was like they've got something the, the character that they've got because as a when I played when I get beat two in the bounce and if the manager was sort of on me or on the team or whatever sometimes you can feel sorry for yourself, I go, fuck that, I have no, whatever. Aye. They were the complete opposite. They looked at herself first, and that's what I found when, when speaking to me, whatever. But, been fortunate to lose, unfortunate to lose too, but the fortune of the next two games are at home, and what I found in the last two games is the work rate off the wall. I think that's been huge, Animals. because Gallifrey didn't get get in on it, and last night they'll beat a star. I don't think at any point in the game last night, they had an opportunity to string three, four passes together no. because everybody was in their faces getting the ball back and it was attack after attack after attack and that's what you need. Right. If you work harder than any team, you're going to get more positive results mm-hmm. than negative results. And just to go on your point with Brock, um, to be fair, to be fair to the boy, like, he could crumble and he right. could just hide because he, he's had missed a few chances but yeah. he, he's got a wee bit about him 100%. and I like that. And mm-hmm. even when I come in, I have a laugh with him after the game. He's, he's fine. Yep. He, he doesn't care missing chances. No. And, and I think that you need that at any level. And 100%. Especially if you go higher and there's bigger crowds there, you, you can't. Yep. Do you know what I mean? They got all the guys, Fraser, just a shout out to him. He was, he was out for a long time last season with his knee. Um, and he looked fucking unbelievable, didn't he? Uh-huh. He could go, he, I think Gaz could go play the highest level. That's how good I think he is. Gaz is a good player. Mm-hmm. But anyway, oh, yes. anyway boy, sorry to keep on talking about the uh, rubbish. Did you, did you watch the Scottish Cup draw? I did. Who did? Broomhill get then? Broomhill got Broader Rangers at home. Tough game. Tough game. Very tough game because they've played. Am I right in saying, did they not knock out Hearts? Aye. Did they? 
I am not going with them. They're bust to what putting that spot because right. I don't know. Did they play Hearts in that game? Yeah, they did. They did. did. Aye. Aye. Cut the game. Put the wood, didn't they? Aye. Aye. I remember it. Is it? Is it? Is it? Because I remember it. Is it home? Broomhill, so Clyde. Oh, it's what's. No Clyde, Broadwood. Aye, Broadwood. That Broadwood and the. That's it, that bit. Yeah, that'd be decent. If you're wanting to, the long term plan is to go, like, try and get do well and be yeah. successful. You're going to have to play a higher league team at some point yeah. in terms of that playoff at the end of the season. So this is a great opportunity to get one early. Have a look at what you might potentially could be up against if you are to succeed. Hmm. And Brora will be a good game. But ultimately, like, you might go on a Scottish Cup run. Of course you do. Yeah, I mean, you want to get you want to get to that second third game and mm-hmm. imagine you got drawn against one of the big boys. Mm-hmm. Oof. Unbelievable, it'd be it? unbelievable. I'd be starting then. Oh, yeah. Straight in the start. Main no finish. Main no finish. Good start. Imagine yeah. that. Imagine that. Like, <laughs> Do you bore with that? No. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, listen, but, uh, the opportunity is there, and obviously a, a nice home tie, which is mm-hmm. first and important. And then it's just a case of I think is it in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. So a positive result against Bowness on Saturday. And then there's no then it's the then it's a cup game, am I right? Mm. Aye. So then that if, if you can get a positive result on Saturday against Bonez, you're potentially looking at maybe three wins on the bounds, three positive results, get into a Scottish Cup tie. That's exactly the kind of form you need to be. So take one game at a time, but it's a it's a fixture that the club will be looking forward to. But I'll wait, Kevin. Have you you've been to every game, Frank, haven't you? Aye. Who have you made it? In my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I'm there. I'm, I'm there in spirit. <laughs> Zoom call sign before the game, did you already? Yeah, tell, tell, tell me calm down. Tell me calm down. Don't shout at Slaney too much. <laughs> but this is unbelievable, by the way, and he's only believe- Frank was is the last... Wait, hear this stat. This is out of this world. Mm. Frank is the last junior player to get a full international cup. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's outrageous. I'll Out- tell you what, I think I could argue that. No, you, oh, you, you're talking about Douglas, but Douglas was a Celtic player when he went to Do you know why? Old. Well, that's what no, I'm, I'm told. just, just mm-hmm. Frank, give it me. No, it's alright. I'm just. I played for uh, Stranraer Athletic in the south of Scotland League. Does that count as junior? No, no. No? No. no. Just it's same. amateur. Is it's really? Aye. Aye. South of Scotland, east of Scotland. Mm, no. but regardless of whatever it is, it's Johnson unbelievable. Barra, man. Johnson, but I was playing with Johnson. Proper Barra. full junior. Is that where you were, Frank? When you, Johnson, what age was that? From just nearly 20, 19. 19? I didn't start playing at football when I was 19. Really? No, I played so. <laughs> yeah, so, what age did you sign with St. Mirren? 20. But that's tight. That's not sent to me, you know, about it. I know. So, you were, how did you go to Johnson, but how, how did that come about? Because it was a. I was playing. <laughs> so was, some of my pals were, watch, were asked me to come and play in a cause Celtic game with Castle, so I went and played with them. And there was five scouts watching the boy I was playing against. <laughs> so. Was it? I don't know what happened to that boy, but anyway. How long did you play there, Frank, from the, the, in that league? Well, you, I, I, could, I was going, I was going in a trial with three clubs and professional clubs and Johnson Burrard gave me £500 to sign and they still let me go on trial. Fucking somebody won it. Well, because they knew they were going to get, if they signed me, they were going to get money, weren't they? Right. So it was a bit, it was an old one for them. Did you think, did you think then, I know it's, I don't know if you would think like this, but did you think then that when you played with Johnson Burrard that you could go and have no, the career you had? No, no. at all? But when, when the, the reason that I decided to make it in football was better old told me I wasn't good enough. And I, and I thought, I'm better than your team. And I was Bernie's team, his team was shit. So, and I thought, that's, that was when, you know that moment you go, I'm going to make it. I'm going to show you. Know, that I'm, aye, that was it. That's that, was, that. that was the moment. See, I think everybody has so, that moment. Aye, 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 a few years oh, back. Oh, no, I've, I've slaughtered Betty for years because, God rest him, he did now. But what a laugh we used to have when I used to walk in. I go, remember that? And he's like, oh, fuck, it's just yeah. that. Now, no, that's not always good fun. You only had one of it yourself. Aye. I, I just love people telling me Aye. I'm rubbish and all that. I'll just, I'll just go and show you. Aye. I'm still that's playing it. 23 years later. It's amazing, isn't it? And, and play, I think play, that's really what I said on the interview. Didn't he dismiss what you did do, no. even if it was a small thing in your fit no. career, that's something no. that he's did Aye. more than everybody else that's moaning about what he's did. And that's, that's, that's a big thing. Of course. Thing. But I'm obsessed I, with I, that. Biggest, 
I never let football interfere in my social life, though. Oh, I know clearly. you never. <laughs> clearly. I know you never. <laughs> All a joke. Yeah. Imagine, nah, you did. Imagine, you, imagine you let football take over your <laughs> social life. Nah, nah, nah. How good would you really be? I know, I know. Or would you have been, or was that you just part of you? Sports science, nah, just, there is no yeah, Sports science. <laughs> no, nah, listen, there's, there's a lot of stories. You've been going so much longer. Yeah, I mean, you guys know me. I like a night out, but, you know, when I played football, it was a tiny day. I couldn't, the amount of games we were playing, I couldn't have done half it. I wish I'd done half it, but I was supposed to have done I I, I'm going, fuck it, I did that. <laughs> so Johnston Borough had... would have been like the full junior league. Aye, so that aye. would have been like, with, with the, would that have been Ayrshire Junior or would that have no, been? No, they were just Paisley. Paisley, Paisley so that Paisley would have been, been like, 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 I had uh, played, played the big teams at the time with Rob Roy and all that kind of stuff, you know, right, Peter Sill and all that. Right, right. oh, so it was, uh, it was good. Some rocks and stuff teams. Aye, it was good. What a man, by the way. See, um, this shows that there's a wee set, you know, it's been almost John Lambie's coming right involved with <laughs> Did you have a incident with him? No, we incident, no. Jo <laughs> Lambie was bright, right? You know what he's like, John. Uh, he, he wanted me, I was in South China, right, in, in Hong Kong, playing. South China's the name of a team in Hong Kong, I was playing there, and they paid me 18 grand to leave. <laughs> so, so, so I said, right, okay. And, uh, you know, I says, I'm not going to sign. I, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Left a contract and the guy says, Look, go now, give me the money so they could slot me. It's all about saving face out there, and everything's about saving face. So so I came back to sign for Thistle and I came back and I never paid that £200 phone bill. And they never released my registration because the, the owner gave me the money, but the club obviously they were dealing with the hotels and all that. So they said, No, nah, we're not set, we're not letting his, we're not getting his registration. So I couldn't sign for Thistle when I came back because. They had to transfer the money. And it's not like you could pick up the phone now and transfer the money straight away. So he had to do it when John says, look, we'll send you the night, but go and do the 40s. Because there was 40 photographers, there was three TV crews outside. No, I don't know who it was. You know, I don't know who, who they for, but it was all for me. So I was like, oh, really? Partick Thistle. So. And I'm out in the centre, so I've got a tap on and a scarf and all that. And Liam Brady phoned. Uh, phone my agent says, yeah. And then he put in the phone to me. And I'm told, I thought, see, I played with Liam. At right. West Ham. So I'm thinking it's a, it's a number he wants. You know, I'm thinking he's wanting a phone number. I says, tell Jeffy I'll phone him back. And he says, no, he wants to talk to you. And he's, he says, have you signed it? I says, no, no, yet. He says, where are you? He says, for all. He says, he's still, he definitely no sense. I says, no. He says, you want to come back? He sells it. And I was like, eh, he says, Mr. Martin. I says, I'm standing in the centre circle. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a thistle tap on. <laughs> I've got a photographer in front of me and he's like, eh, and you've no sign? I said, no. He said, I'll see it, Parky, then there. He says, well, okay. That was it. So, so I said to John, John, family. I said, got to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John was, John was trying to sue me. You know, that was brilliant. I went four games later or something like five games later, we went to Thistle to play there. And uh, it was incredible. They just didn't, they named out the team and just missed me out completely. Oh, did just they? missed me out. No, they went for eight to ten. Just missed me out completely. And we want to wish it was going out Christmas. We want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas except Frank McAvaney and Bobby Murdo, my agent. <laughs> <laughs> just didn't want to, didn't want to wish us. I was just petty, so we, we beat them one now and guess you scored. Who scored, scored did you? <laughs> penalty. I had to take, 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 take penalties, but I said to me, Mr. Slayer was playing. I said, No, today, son, I'm taking this. <laughs> brilliant. Sorry, brilliant. You just mentioned there about uh, you were in Hong Kong. What was that like? Brilliant. Something like that. Uh, unbelievable. Do you know what? They don't. They don't blame drink for a bad performance, which is not good for me. <laughs> you know, it wasn't, it wasn't good for me. How did yeah. that come about going earlier? Because you offered me four since. <laughs> Simple as that. It was, uh, I, I was still just finished. I was on a face, so I went out there and get decent money in. So how long were you there for? <clears throat> I was supposed to be there for three months, but uh, I was there for about seven weeks, something like that. How many nights out of seven weeks? Oh. Every night. <laughs> it was, but, uh, some of the ex bats that were out there brilliant. I know, I went there. Oh, I've been there before. Scotland, and Unbelievable. It, it was a really good night. But they were staying in, they were staying in, uh, you know, it was great. They were staying in, in the actual ground. Some of the boys were staying in the ground. There were some of the dressing rooms, there were bunk beds and all that. In the dressing room, they just <laughs> were staying. Because it's so packed, Hong Kong's so... Nah, I mean, it's just the matters. But what a place. What a place. You need to be careful who you're going to hang with it. Oh, just, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Not like the same. <laughs> well, did you ever have a chance to go away? I had a chance to go to America when I left Rangers before I went to Blackpool to New England Revolution. But I always wanted to do a crash That's where Stephen Echo was. Was that where Stephen Echo was? Oh. So he made his name, I think he made his name. Maybe. I think you're right, aye. aye. Uh, but no, I, I agreed to go to Blackpool, so that was why I never went. And did you regret it? No. 
A wee bit, aye, uh, actually, because... The revolution. Building up now, isn't it, America? I know. But you just wanted a crack at England, though, I didn't wanted you? a crack at aye. England. Um, and I'm glad I did it. I loved my five years in England. Aye. Best ever. Good place, isn't it? Oh. Right. Steve, what about you? You ever had a chance? I know, I think we've talked about it before. Have I've you? had a chance to go to Russia, Germany. So you did actually have said that? No. And Borussia Mönchengladbach. I love Borussia, did, uh, by the way. Who? Borussia Mönchengladbach and Cologne. Had you? Do you regret it? Cologne's up the Cologne. 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 I uh, regret it. I didn't hear an opportunity. I didn't hear a chance because Sunderland wouldn't let me go to the oh. two. And then when I went to Russia, it was like five hours to Moscow and then three hours to where the team were playing. And I was like, fuck this, man. Maybe nah. speak some word English. I'm nah, stuck here in the middle of Russia. Nah. All the money in the world. This I know, is but it wasn't nah. beautiful, wasn't it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to bird at the time. Like, <laughs> the, the goalie. Be, the goalie. <laughs> the goalie. <laughs> the, the goalie wouldn't be too happy with that. Uh, um, but uh, no, I just, uh, I just thought, nah, this is not for me. Did you, you know, Paul? I've had a brother a few times. Have <laughs> uh, uh, you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you played with, um, did you see when you were at St Mirren, did Charlie Adam come in alone? He, aye. Mean, aye. he was outrageous that year, wasn't he? How good he was? Charlie, aye, he was good, but the only thing about Charlie when he came in when he was young, he would shoot for everywhere. Aye. Did he? Aye. Everywhere. Would you be raging at that? Aye. aye. I'm talking, he would shoot like five yards into the opposite half, out in the touchline, he would shoot. And by the way, he would hit the target. Well, that's the difference. As long as it's a target, as long as it's a target, he'd be like, but, you know, he, for a striker, I'd be falling in all the time. He had a, a great season. He came out, probably won his promotion that year. Did he? Probably. Aye. Charlie. And then he went on to kick on at Rangers the year was, after. Mm -hmm. Was even that, that season was Paul Gwen the Rangers manager? No. So that year, I'm sure it was Alex McLeish, was it? No. And then was it? Paul Gwen come in and then Charlie went back at pre-season. See the thing about Charlie, people don't know, Charlie can run. Aye, aye. So he can, he can aye, proper aye. run and Le Guin's pre-season was meant to be so tough, mm -hmm. crazy runs and I would, wouldn't be surprised if Charlie won all the runs. Mm -hmm. So he did and I think that's what got him in the door at Rangers for Le Guin, and then mm -hmm. he broke through and then he had a great season that year, even though Le Guin ended up gone in January. But uh, Charlie was a character as well though. So see. That's, aye. see Charlie, could he, um, could he lose a plot in training or during games and it like that? Was it like that? No, I, I never really lost the plot, Charlie. It was just the uh, daft things. Like, like there'd be a pass, a square pass, like somebody's in one and go, and Charlie would honestly just shoot. It was, it was selfish. Like, right. most good players are selfish, mm. but he's taking his, his game on a level, but it was, it was just daft. You tight now? Charlie, yeah. Uh, why? We were tight, eh? Oh, oh what? What's happened there then? I know, it's just, not at all. life's yeah. moved on, moved on aye. Aye. he's got family now, he's doing an England stay and, uh, He's all serious now, isn't he? We were, oh, he's busy now, isn't he? <laughs> he's everywhere. We, we were terrible with us, we, we were all wanting to win, he, even in training. It was like those arguments and that, yep. somebody done that. Aye. You know, I mean, it would have been the same at Rangers, but it was unbelievable, just crying up. You know, he's doing no passing it, he's shooting and all that. He did was, have the worst. Aye. Costume for a Christmas night out of oh, Aye. What was that? It was meant to be Spider Man, but it was honestly, I think he got it out of the town shop. Matches him in that little. He got in between the lawnmowers and the washing machine. Well, that's just a quick one here. See, when you were at Rangers, did you, which is going back to the Hollywood Frank was on, did you or any of the boys ever have a wee group that used to go away on holiday together? <laughs> at Rangers? Aye. No. No at all? No, nah, question for you to say either, just so I could have a bit of time to look at the next uh, question. I think <laughs> to be fair, that's the next question. To <laughs> tell you, be fair, when I was at Rangers, we only got about two weeks off because uh, we had to qualify for the Champions League. Uh, so it was you go away with your family and then come back. We never, I went away with the boys for a weekend though. Yeah. When we, who, who was it? Who were you tight with there? At Rangers? Aye. Probably Tomo, Whitaker, mm -hmm. uh, Moe he big laugh. Big Tom was a good night. No, no, big Tom. Oh, Kevin Tom. Kevin Tom was away. Oh, Kevin Tom. So you used a wee group? I ah, had a wee bit of banner group. Eh? You've done it like Fergie, man. No, you know. <laughs> 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 no, Fergie had his, his older group, but. Uh, and then when I started travelling with Fergie, I hung about with him more, but Fergie was hard work at training because he had so high demands. Oh, high standards, I know. Aye, so he didn't. Aye. Like, and then another teammate, Broders, this is unbelievable. Alan, with him as well. Alan Russell. 
Come on, look. Big Al. So I can't, I, I haven't remember seeing Alan Russell on Soccer AM and he was doing like a striker thing. Striker school. St- striker school. Aye, mm-hmm. what do you call it? He's called the striker. Superior striker. Superior striker. And then the next thing I've seen him was with England doing the set yep. pieces, Aye. right? So I was like, how does that work? Just doing striker training or whatever. But then I found out that he carried Christiana, Christiana, Christiana. Aguilera. Christina, Christina Aguilera. Aguilera out of the MTV Awards. Up in Edinburgh. Yep. But how did that happen? Because when Big Al was at St Mung, he was a model part time as well, Aye. and they got models in, and obviously he was like the man of the best looking one, so they Aye. decided that he would carry him out. So we travelled together at that time when we were at St Mung. He's one of my close mates. I'm pretty yeah. sure as well. I know somebody will confirm this. When we were at Kilmarnock, I think he was an extra in River City. Aye. And he was dating, he was dating a bird in River City, so he had to sit down there at the table, and we took that skin grab and stuck it on the bus to an away trip to Inverness just to take the piss at him because he was like, "How you doing? I'm <laughs> I'm so and so." You're like, "Fucking hell, man!" I'll be cut. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Wasn't it? That was shocking. <laughs> See, after that, with the MTV awards, when they came back to the change room, did we use all right on him? Oh, I think. Mean, yeah, the front American. page of the paper. Yeah, so and they cut them all no, out. Snuck it's all out. Good But he did it well. Did he? Ah, he was a good lad, though. Good. What was he? Was he always uh-huh. big time about it? But was he always throwing it in there? I had some good big time shouts about it. Aye. Mm-hmm. What was you doing last that. night and things like that? What, what, He's a good he, looking boy, but what uh, way did he carry? Oh, no, it was one of the like, like, shows like, 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 like a like like a like a woman thing. Aye, aye. they were like there was four guys. She was sitting on a throne and this thing had been they just carried it. Was she underneath it? He's underneath. He's underneath the throne. Christina, <laughs> <laughs> big ol, big ol's, uh, yeah. done well for himself. I brilliant. Yeah, he has. Aye, because his, his wife owns a, like an equestrian centre up, up down in the Kilmarnock somewhere. No, they sold it. Oh, did they? There you go. Mm-hmm. And uh, but he was a good looking boy, well dressed, handsome boy. He's in full time now at Norwich. Ah, Norwich, oh, striker coach, eh? Good. Ah, good for him. So how did this get me? I'm going to ask this. This is I'm me full of his striker. You can't co- you can't coach strikers. What did he do? You can Ooh. coach him a wee bit of movement. You can't coach front. you. tell him to move and go to the front post, but you can't teach him how to score goals. Do you, I know, but... It's impossible. But surely, it's either a knack or it's not a knack. You I know, but surely as a striker, if, if you practice enough, you can get better at your technique and ability, maybe? I bet surely it's not a striker. It's not... As a striker, he's not going to coach your ass to the team, the manager to coach your ass. Do you I'm know what I'm just... I that. keep seeing this... Like, seeing this and the striking coach I'm going well you can do shit you I know, think it's like the game do, passing and finishing going a bit like NFL passing and finishing now, right? 100% where there's defensive coaches midfield coaches but we, but we done that we done it with Sam we done it we, we went away the defence defence went away right. we worked midfield went away and the strikers went away we worked the keepers but you can't really you know I wouldn't call him a, a striking coach you know he just took it away crossing and finishing we done that I, I mean, totally I mean, get what you're saying like that, I know what you're saying I get what you're like saying because, because as a striker you have to have a, an instinct of some sort you, you're either there and it's alright doing a, a false bit of movement so uh-huh. coming short spinning uh-huh. in behind but if that phase of play doesn't happen in the game how do you put that movement you kind of just say well I, I didn't even, I, I wasn't able to come short of there you go long but mm-hmm. I suppose when you're doing striker skills, it's just little movements around the blocks. They're working on moving your feet. And getting your body. I suppose so. But the thing is with strikers is you're there. It's a knack. You're there. The keeper drops the ball. You you've got it, or you run because it comes after keeper or something. That's still elements defending. of a striker that you can help them with and work I, them with. I suppose. I get the, Listen, there's I get strikers it. and then there's a goal scorer. I, I get Maybe it. the two are different because Maybe. obviously a goal scorer is somebody who would Maybe. let you in the box. Quite Using quite your instinct, Sheila. No, same way. Sheila, the same way. But. Right. McCoy's and that and the guys you guys that scored goals constantly you were constantly in the box where as a striker there might be that guy that maybe needs to come and hold the play up a wee bit better so can you work with him right. on holding it up getting his body positions right getting how he but receives but the, the ball biggest, stuff. the biggest thing for me in, in today's game nobody shouts anyone now. I mean see let the strikers come off and just say hold up and it comes bouncing off him nobody gives him any trouble you now I think me when I was playing Big Roy you know, especially the big Roy would scream at me. Aye. I wouldn't lose that again. You, do you know what I mean? Aye. And it's as if the, as it, but you're as saying they didn't strike. But it's today's game. Can they? The, it's changing. It's changing. Are you, people going to themselves and shout at them. Like Aye. you're saying, they didn't strike. But maybe the day we just didn't hear it through the telly, no. No, I look at them and I go, no. Nah. I mean, you see, you see Milner. What he had, he had a go Van Dijk on here. I mean, uh, you can see that. That's and that's why that's old school. Not yeah. the best defender in the world. Aye, and he and he agreed with him. He says, "Yeah, you're right." Mm-hmm. So yeah. I just, I know, it's just a, 
different times. But, about <laughs> the point, the point yeah. you said yeah. about NFL, I actually think it might get like that because you remember Klopp brought in a set a throwing coach, yeah. and I can see where NFL yeah. we've got yeah. each department. And they had their own meetings and in meetings. Well, Gerard's, got, Gerard's got no. <coughs> your man McPhee is the set piece coach. I wonder what I would come I would under. do that. I can understand when that. When there's coach, you can do work, work with that. It's obviously working. Team mate, out coach. <laughs> it's obviously no. It's obviously no. I. It's obviously no. It's obviously when Percy was in Bill left. <laughs> right, boys. I'm going to put this. I'm going to this podcast. I'm going to put this to you. Go, on, then. go on, then. Who did you play with, right? And how do we think about this? Players who love themselves. Oh, God. Oh, love themselves. What about Charlie Nick? <laughs> no, Charlie was I'll give you the first one straight away. Gary O'Connor. Did he? Oh, aye. aye. Big aye. guys. He's aye. never away from the mirror. It uh, he's the same. He's the same. He's a big man. Great, good, big great guy aye. that loved this. So. Played a couple of charity games, haven't he? He's the same. Aye. He's <laughs> still the same. There you go. Did he? Big guys. Big guys loved this. Great lad. lad. Great lad. Great lad oh, aye. man. He was Would you think of that with boys that are, like in a dressing room or that? And just mm-hmm. love this and they're putting all the perfume after shaving all own gel and hair and all that. What do you think of that? Nah, for me, what, what was an eye opener for me when I when it was coming through the ranks was when the foreign boys came in and they made a fucking moisturizer mm. and they didn't have a hair on their body. The Aye. whole body was shaved Aye. and like fucking in and naked, head to toe with moisturizer. And I'm like, there's only fucking so many bits you can moisturize. Like, why? And I was like, that's no for me. No, nah. that's maybe why I'm looking a bit rough at 41. <laughs> but did you play with Mark Cochran? Aye. Mate, he's Coco. flying, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's flying. Was he like he loves him? Coco was a good guy. Aye. Was he? Aye. He felt his eye, didn't he? Oh, did he? Have? He came on the podcast and we slaughtered him after it. He said he was a mute on it. <laughs> I went mental about it. Did he? Aye. No way. Remember being inspired? Did he take the hunger? Aye. Aye. Si <laughs> si says it was great to have the Be Inspired boys on. Sponsors. Especially Mark and Gordon, the sponsored silence. <laughs> You're feeling me, Is oh, it like that? It? Can you not take a joke? No, well, when I played with him, he was. No, he was a good lad. Loved him. Are you? No, I did. Can I take that? Well, I can't take that. Did he take that? Did he take that? Yeah, didn't he? No, I don't know. I can't remember. Unless he's changed. Really? Is that why I have no idea? He started getting fat t-shirts for a while. Mate, see, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, he's no butt. He didn't talk. Didn't remember that's right. He was quiet. Was he a good player? He was. Eh? Was he quiet in the pitch? <laughs> quite Very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. How come I went to him? How did he come up? What is that you've drawn? Some sheet. Some sheet. What, what is that you've drawn there? My oh. name. Is that? Can you show the camera that? That's what he's so doing. So is he the co owner? Be inspired. Be inspired. Co owner, aye. See the direction of McBroad at St. Mirren was it? I found this, and listen, this is completely different. I found it when I was went from Mullerwell, right? I, I just went into the first team, but it was it was wild, it was brilliant. And then when I went to Celtic, it completely changed. Aye. It is like that, aye. 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 I think the, the smaller teams are more close knit. Aye. aye. And then when you go to the bigger ones, are the Rangers Celtic. It's, because these same players feel all over the line. Just scrutiny on the two of them. No, I think you can see players are maybe coming from all different countries, aye. whatever. Like they've got yeah, their own groups, whatever. Yeah. Aye. Aye. I think they still go. I was, I was fortunate for me because it was all. British players yeah. it came in, you know what I mean? So it was good. It was all right. That aye, so man, we would go away aye. every year. So we would uh, aye, end aye. the season. So it'd be. Aye. We used to go to Magaluf. Every other team, every other team, every other team, every other team in the UK was there. Uh, Magaluf's the great But nah, the great Rangers, yeah. when yeah. you went to Rangers, it was like, oh, it's wee groups. Aye, aye. Aye. It was there, didn't it? Mm-hmm. See, um, I was going to ask this, Frank, Paul Lambert, was he a young boy when you played coming through? I've seen his, I've seen his podcast with years. Story to aye, I forgot about it, but I remember now. What was he like? He's probably he was all right. He was doing the sweeping and the terrace, and I'm, you know, I was finishing my career, and I, I said to him, I says, "Wee man, we're all talking." I said, "Wee man, do you smoke? No. Do you drink? No. Do you go to women? Was no. it quiet?" I says, "You'll never make it. You've only won the Champions League." <laughs> 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 Did he not get involved with all that? Nah. We're just a young boy. We're just in the terrace. We're just having a laugh. He's not a boy. I don't know. But it was one of you. It was just a good laugh while the boys were all sitting there. Did you get on young boys when you were No, no. I, no, used I can't see you take much you, today with young they boys. A, they actually, actually loved me. I was a shake given him. was my bit boy at Celtic. So, and I loved his kids to keep getting money. And the boys go out. They don't, you know, the kids they don't get a day off. So they were going out for a night, and I used to give them on a quid or something, and they go out and walk. I went up, me and Granny used to sit and wait in the stories in the following day. Now they used to come in and go, oh, he puked out of Bob, and he'd done this, and he'd. My stories were brilliant. Actually, that's how, like, he's obviously saying that, and I remember that as a youth mm-hmm. team player at Sunderland. We would come in 
and the, the first team pros would come into your dressing room ah, and they'd say, great, great all right, boys, it. tell us what's happened <laughs> on the weekend. <laughs> and they done. would all sit around and say, right, what are you up to? Aye. And then it's as if, like, they want to relive, relive ah. their youth. No, it was just because, uh, you know, the young boys ah. kind of had to get, you get them money and they get blooted and they can't handle it. You know? <laughs> so, it was all good fun. Yeah, I was, I had shade and shade was great. I miss that. All the young boys not doing their jobs. They don't do jobs. I think there's a lot of respect. There's a lot of things out of the game that I just think, you know, when I was at West Ham, the boys can you walk into the, the first team dressing room to get yep. a kit and that I didn't open the door. Mm -hmm. And then Billy Bonds and that used to say, you, you earn respect, you've got to respect yep. that, that right. dressing room, you've got to fight to get in there. And it was Why incredible. Why is it just, 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 just be able to do that. Like, the way the world is in terms of like, can like paperwork that, you know? and stuff, there's health and safety mm -hmm. and stuff. So now the kids aren't allowed to physically like lift goals and stuff because they've got to do oh, risk assessments and stuff. I know, thank you, this is kind of this is the way we are, but... I'm pretty sure some of the lower league teams are probably still doing a bit of old school stuff. I'm, pretty, I'm I'm convinced of that. Aye. But in the Premier League, like it's just you're no now made to work for the Aye. career that you might potentially have. You're giving too much too soon. Aye, it doesn't just set you up for a bit. It sets you up for life. Like, like, it's a coaching job. I know it's character building. Yeah. Sometimes some of the well, things see, that see, that's to the you biggest thing we were talking about. We your dressing rooms as well, but. Today's dressing room, I don't think half of them would have got through our dressing room. No. Because yeah. it was character building. I mean, it wasn't it brutal, wasn't it? But there was no bullying or nothing like that. It was just, God, you should give him some, some stick and it was great, oh, good man. fun. And if you couldn't get it back, mm -hmm. you, they'd, you know, you'd get it, man. And it was, uh, I don't think I've ever been in a dressing room when I was a young kid that any abuse that I ever got, uh. they didn't they never know speak to me. I've oh, no. Like, they'd it, come like, a couple of days later like, and sit I, you down I, and I, say, I, no. So how's things getting on? You, know, you see the completely think, different side of them. I, think, I, think, I think people presume that all you did was a young kid because no. you got like um, you got like the uh, piss taken out of you and stuff yeah. like that, and that was the end of it. Yeah, whereas there so these guys would ones. come round again later on and put your arm around you, ask you about how things are going. And uh, Jimmy, Bo Jimmy Bone was, was the be was best for me at St Mum. You know, Jimmy he was not much bigger than me, and I was a midfield player at St Mum. But he used to, for some reason, he knew I was going to play up front, and he used to get me back and, and keep shouting at me and I thought he was just picking on me but he wasn't he he was teaching me you know he was teaching right. me because he, there is a balance he, 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 used, to, he, no, he a balance. used to shout Kevin he's going look you jump first and the defenders like, if you're up foot against the defenders big in you you jump first it's a free kick yep. he kind of got he kind of got above you just wee things like that and, you, and it takes you in all of a sudden if I have you and they taught me that you know yep. I might not have been a player that yep. you know did you ever have any senior players that he's hated when you were young coming through no, really, I, I, I didn't. Jimmy, I was shouting him all the time, and then I realised it was helping me rather than just ah, picking on me. a couple I didn't, you know? like, I didn't like. But and what, we just terrorised you? Aye, what, 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 what this person thought was funny, to me, at that time, wasn't it funny? Wasn't it funny? Mm -hmm. Like, we, this guy, when we, 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 I was injured for two years, and then I came, we got promoted to the Premier League, and as a group, I was invited to go there in the season celebrations to Marbella, and I went... And this guy just thought it would be great to like rip the piss at me at every single opportunity. And the minute I stood up for myself, he came for me like for a fight. I was to say, what are you doing? And I thought, wait a minute, yeah, you've just like Aye. abused me for four or five days here. Mm -hmm. You expect me just to take it. And to this day, I look back on that guy and think, if I ever met him again, I think I'd probably, I think I'd probably go for him. Aye. This is good. What's his name? Oh, he knows who he is. <laughs> I called him in Twitter. What are you doing? <laughs> I called him in Twitter one day. Aye, and, uh, I think, and, then, right. and the reply was, oh, I was only joking, but no. see, at that time, no. it wasn't a joke, because no, to me it was personal. And no. I don't think young boys just forget it, though. Do you know what I mean? When they go and have a career, a they get to a senior they'll remember the ones oh, that went. Oh, I wasn't even just talking about like getting abused or having a joke. I was talking about their jobs, Aye. cleaning people's boots, cleaning and cleaning dressing rooms. They don't do that, do that now. Are you guys know me now? I don't think I would have made it if I came through the ranks. You know, if I had to do boots and that, if I had the rank guys, say, I'm going... Policy, I'm mm -hmm. probably helping them. I used to you take know, pride in having the oh, about oh, sitting aye. ready you know I mean? and polished. I would have been. See the idea of pausing your first team guy's boots aye. to hear them pristine and aye. take them to and him. And he's buzzing, maybe. And he's buzzing. Aye. And then it comes Christmas time and he says, There you go, wee man. Yeah. Aye, thanks for doing the boots. And you're like, Seem they don't. Can I leave you? Here's a wee 50. Give me a wee 50. And then you're like, Hope next year I get him because he gives a lot. It was That was the kind of small things. Because when you're just clean, I never cleaned any. I never cleaned any. Nah. Eric Lawson. I, never, I, never, I couldn't have done it. Did you? Eric Lawson. Who was it? What about his missus? Eric Lawson. Uh, the lunch bucket. Did you clean the orbits? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his missus was a joke, wasn't she? Yeah. Well, was he sort of you? Big Lawson. He gave me 50 quid, but he gave me the McDonald's card. Remember they used to get the McDonald's card? And 
Hey, I had one of them at Sunderland. Gold McDonald's card. <laughs> used to rock up to the drive through right. hey, That's a big Mac meal. That'll be £3. No, mate, there's the gold card. <laughs> right. Three McDonald's every day. Uh, that, that was because I'm in the Premier League. Oh, that's you. Frank Sozzi. That's you. Frank Sozzi. Fat as fuck. That's all you need. A free a free lunch. We used to get the Saturday night into town when fucking pulled it. It used to be a credit card. 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 And I'm sitting there going, you know what you're like. <laughs> I don't know what I've done. You don't, you, you don't want to show anyone. For the boys. And you're going for a show and it gets worse when you're going to show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for the boys. You've never had that? Or the boys have all the boys have been laughing. I've done the Ralph Jakes. I've got done the Ralph Jakes. One, one time, that was a deep heat. That was like one time that happened to me and it never happened again. I get done the Ralph Jakes. It's probably not. It's good fun. And you can't see it again. Got to the wee village and I'm thinking, fucking hell, man, that's getting warmer down there. And I was saying, fucking hell, that's even. I was like, oh my God. So I just put the kicks down and the fucking. No, I put the kicks down and the fucking just sat and drove him naked. And I was like, oh my God. It's fucking every time I stopped at a traffic light on that. Oh, it's horrendous. That's brilliant. And then, what do you do? I know. I can't imagine anybody doing that to you. No, I've not done that. No. No. Can't see that at all. I remember we keep sitting me with it. You should have been electric shock pads. You put on your leg. Mm-hmm. And you lift them up. Mm-hmm. You ever had that? Aye, Aye. when you put the, the, that. they get your muscle and they're beating. See when they try to pull them out up, but. Aye, oh. Aye. I think that could kill you, seriously. I've <laughs> no such job. Right, Frankie, just before we finish here, you had a wee brief spell at Falkirk. What a dressing that was, mate, wasn't it? It was good. It was good. Who was the one that again? McCall was in there, wasn't it? Ian McCall used to pick him up. Big Yogi was Johnson. there. Uh, Ricey. Brian. Brian. Brian Rice was there. Big chap. It was a good couple of boys for hearts, Sam. Me guys for hearts. It's a life of dressing room, isn't it? Brilliant. It was good fun. Any stories you've got for us for that? Nah, Jim Jeffries was just, maybe it was alright, but he just, he, we did, we done a deal so that I'd get myself fit for a month and, and then after it, I'd get a deal. It was only, it was just to finish my career, it was only 500 quid or something, you know, and I made a deal and, it, and then I get, played in the first team and I scored a couple and cleared a couple off the line, so I, my work, work rate was pretty good. And then she's going to get an hour month and I was like, what looks to that? So I just walked away with a bin bag and all that and went to some man, finished that some man. Brilliant boys, that show will probably get cut. That <laughs> <laughs> show's in the history, of the history. Um, just before we go, pick 10, only for you Frank. I'll ask you as well, but we're only going for you Frank. Alright, here we go quickly, Celtic me Rangers. Celtic, home tie, I think. Go. I've got Kev. Celtic. Celtic, bonus, open goal. Don't know, take what you want. Open goal. Open goal? Hibs Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. Oh, sorry, say. Si. Um, Hibs Kelly. Draw. I'm mm. going for Hibs. Mm. Livy Hearts. 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 Livy's in a bad way at the moment. They're not, they're not playing well, are they? If I'm right. Okay. So I'm going to say, 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 a draw. A draw. Yeah, okay. So? Yeah. Brothers. Hearts. Mm-hmm. Mother Dundee United, Frank. Mother Will. I think the day and night is all free for it. Aye, free for it. Don't want to be more aware that uh, the temporary manager oh, could get a bounce back. Could get a bounce yeah. back. Uh, bounce back ability. That you go. Ross County Aberdeen. Uh, oh, I don't. My take on that is that Aberdeen, are, uh, uh, that they've got a few, they've committed a few points, but I don't think they've been amazing. So I'm going to say Ross County. Aberdeen. Ross County. Oh, St. Johnston, St. Mirren. <sighs> Draw. Yeah, I think Simon's doing all right. Snap, snatch and grab. Simon's doing all right, isn't he? Aye. Simon's doing all right. Aye, Simon's doing all right. Tell me about that, you guy, manager. I wanted to admit to. Wraith Rovers <laughs> Inverness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've not even looked at that league yet. Who? <laughs> Wraith Rovers Inverness. Must be Inverness, surely. Inverness. Wraith Rovers have not beat them in 20 years or something. Aye, there you go, by the way. That's why he's on it. That's why he's on it. Unbelievable. I know. A broth fissile. Yeah, a broth. And last but not least, Dundee versus Queen's Dundee. Park. Queen's Park flying. Flying at the moment. Dundee got a good result last night. I'm so. going to go for draw. Dundee. Mm-hmm. Queen's Park good, didn't they? They're playing well. They are playing well. Draw. Oh, oh. oh. Thanks very much, lads, brothers. You ready for Saturday, big man? Always. All the best. Always. Have a good lunch, boys. Thanks very much. See you later on.